Somewhere. Okay. Look where the caudal part of the of the trapezius goes. It attaches only on the upper portion. So if that connect contracts, can you see that it will actually make the shoulder blade rotate slightly different way? The, this top one will go this way, but the bottom one will go this way. So it is helpful for the protraction. Are you with me? <laughs> because they say, no, it will pull the shoulder blade backward. Mm. If you pull on this side, it doesn't pull shoulder so blade backward. So developed you know? here. What happens? Can you see that? Yeah. Uh, We're we asking horse for protraction. We're asking him to basically do this, you know, slightly movement of the shoulder blade and as well a little bit rotation. This is why this muscle is only on the top, you know, to sort of contract and allow that little rotation as well the whole movement. It, it's sliding. Uh, and I think that is my theory. If here is very badly sit um, tree, something which doesn't allow the shoulder blade to rotate, first thing what this muscle will be doing, if it's not as painful, it will try to move the tree backwards, mm -hmm. and it starts to exercise this muscle, and we start to see big bulge here. In some cases, it can be so painful that they don't want to touch, you know, or the shoulder cartilage of the shoulder blade, we will see, is damaged. I had horses, polopony, I had two poloponies during my dissections, and they had completely shredded the cartilage, it was gone. So obviously in this case, you know, the horses would not want to do that, you know, and hit the tree again and get through the shredded cartilage. So they would try to move much more this way, and then you can start to sometimes see overdevelop this area, yes. you know, with muscles. So trying to actually Yield the shoulder. Yeah, you, you can see. Look at that. Is a bunch of sap? Yes, we have. We have so. a couple. Um, a couple. I think it helps my eye because I like. To you see, so <laughs> if something is sitting, you know, and the point of the trees are really narrow or too forward, you know, lots of saddles. They are in good faith, put in the right spot. But when the horse takes a couple of moves, you know, and especially if you have the girth groove a little bit forward, you know what happens, the show, the, it travels forward. And uh, we will see how far the cartilage actually reaches. You can, on many horses, come and you can feel the bone. Exactly in that spot you feel the bone. So lots of people would say, all right, this is the end of the shoulder blade, you know, yeah. like that. Sorry, it's the other shoulder blade, but just only to, to, to say. <laughs> yeah. Because if somebody does picture and then somebody will see this yeah. and saying, what the woman was teaching, it's different shoulder blade. <laughs> I know, this is the <laughs> work room supraglenoidal and it should be done. Okay. So anyway, you can feel the cart, you can feel the bone here. So people say, oh, okay, that is the shoulder blade. It can sit like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, the saddle. And then you know, the, the horse tries to move, you know, against the saddle and it starts to exercise this muscle. Or it is too painful and the horse has no way I'm doing that. So he's trying actually to yield the shoulder blade from the pressure and starts to exercise those muscles, you know, like pulling the shoulder blade forward and using much more disguise, you know, not to get interfered with that. Because what you will see, thank you, Debbie, what you will see underneath the trapeze muscle, let me open it, you, you, will, you need to see. So that you know what I really mean, because on that 